Hello everyone, I am Rishva Jain, your maths teacher. Welcome you all in virtual classes. I hope you all are fine and enjoy learning via virtual classes. So today we are going to continue our learning on the same platform. Nowadays we are doing chapter 4 decimal in which we have done about decimal numbers. Place will you chart in decimal number? Fractional form and decimal forms. How can we read a decimal number? And we have learnt equivalent decimals. Now the next is expanded form. In this topic we will learn how can we present a number by breaking as the sum of the place value of each digit. As we have studied a decimal number consists a decimal point whole part and the de decimal part. And in previous chapters, we have studied how can we expand a whole part. We can expand a whole part by writing the place value of each digit. And how can we find the place value? We can find the place value by multiplying the digit with its place. So, in this example, we can see that I have 934 as whole part. So, we will start writing the place value of each digit from left to right. So, the place value of 9, how can we find it? By multiplying the digit with its place. And what is the place of it? 1, 10, 100. So, multiply 9 by 100, so it will be 900. Then we will move to the next digit, that is 3. Multiply 3 with its place. Place is 1, 10. So, 3 into 10 is 30. And then 4 into 1's place. So, 4 into 1 will be 4. This is the expanded form of whole part. Now, how can we write the expanded form of decimal part? As I have told you, decimal part means the part of whole. And the part of whole means fraction and decimal both. So, for writing the expanded form of the decimal part, we can write it as fractional form or decimal form. In both form we can write. So it means for writing the expanded form of a decimal number, we have two expansions, fractional expansion and decimal expansion. Fractional expansion where we will write the place value of the decimal part as fraction and decimal expansion where we will write the place values as decimal number. According to this example, for whole part, I have taught you the expanded form of 934 will be 900 plus 30 plus 4. But if we are talking about the fractional expansion, it means we need to write the fractions for every place in decimal part. So first we will revise what are the places there. The first place after decimal is 10th. Second, 100th. Third, thousandth. So how can we write the place value of 6 if it is at 10th place? So 10th place means you will divide 6 by 10. So fraction can be plus 6 upon 10. Then we have 8. 8 is at 100th place. So 8 hundredth. So what is the fraction for it? 8 upon 100. And last we have 2. And it is at thousand, uh, thousandth place. So it means two thousandth. So how can we write the fraction for it? Two upon thousand. It means when we are presenting this decimal part as fraction in the expanded form. So this is known as fractional expansion of the number. But now the next is decimal expansion. In this also the whole part will be same. So, 934 will be 900 plus 30 plus 4. But the decimal part will be represented by writing decimal number. So, 6 is at 10th place. So, we will write it as 0 0.6. It means the first place after decimal. Now, 8 is at 100. 100 to the second place. It means on the second place after decimal you will write 8 and rest will be 0. So it will be 0 0.08. Now the next is 2 is at 1000. So it means 
on the third point, the third place, after decimal, there will be 2 and rest will be 0. So, 0 0.002. It means if we are presenting the decimal part as decimal number, so this is known as the decimal expansion of the given number. Many times the examples can be like this where we have the zeros at any place. So, what will we do? At the time of whole number, expanded form in whole number, we have studied that if we are expanding a number and we are having zeros at any place, so there is no need to write the place value of zero. Why? Because the place value of zero is zero and if you, if you will add zero, it will not affect your answer. So, that's why we will write 370 as 300 plus 70 plus Zero, zero will not here, but there is no need to write zero for it. So you can skip and move to the next place. It is the tenth place. It is also zero, so no need to write. Later on, we have four at hundredth place, and we are writing in fractional expansion. So plus four upon hundred, and it is a thousandth place, so it will be eight upon thousand. Now we will write the decimal expansion for the same number. The whole part will be same. 300 plus 70 plus, no need to write 0 here. Then go to the decimal part. In the decimal part, the first place is 0. First place is 10th place and at 10th place we have 0. So there is no need to write the place value of 0. So move to the next, that is 4 at 100th place. So the place value for 4 that is at 100th place will be plus 0 0.04 and 4000th place it will be 0 0.008. Why 8? Because we have 8 at 1000th place. So these are the fractional expansion and the decimal expansion for the number 370.048. Now the next topic is standard form. Now in the other hand we have the topic as standard form or short form. This is totally opposite to the expanded form. Why? Because in expanded, expanded form we were breaking the number as the sum of the place value of each digit. But in this the place uh, the expansions will be given. It can be fractional expansion or the decimal expansion. And you have to write the number for it. How? See. Now in this example, we can see that the number has been expanded as the fractional expansion. And we have to write the number for it. So first we will see 400. It means 4 in at 100 place. So 100, 4. Then we are not having the 10th place, place. So what will we do? We will write 0 there. After 0, we have 9 at 1's place. So, 9 and then after 1's place, for separating the whole part from the decimal part, we will use the decimal point. So, you will put a point here. Later on, 3 tenth. It means 3 should be at the tenth place. So, 3 will be at the first place after decimal because it is tenth place. Then, 7 hundredth. 7 should be at 100th place. So, 7 and then last 2, it should be at 1000th place. So, you will write 2 here. So, it means the number for this fractional expansion is 409.372. Now, one more type of examples can be there where you have to write the standard form or the short form for it. And what kind of this example will be? This example can be in the decimal expansion. So it will be same because the fraction or decimal both are showing the part of whole. So both are same but the thing is the presentations will be different. So how can we write here the standard form for this expansion? We will see that 200. It means 2 should be at 100 place. So 2 after 100 place we have tens and we have 30. So it is denoting that 3 it has 10th place. So 3. Then we have 1. It is at 1's place. 1. And before decimal part there will be a decimal point to show to separate the whole part from the decimal part. Then we have 0 0.6. It means it is at the first place after decimal. So it means 10th place. So you will write 6 at 10th place that is after decimal. 
decimal only. Then we can see that it is at tenth, hundred, and thousandth. It means seven is at thousandth place. There is no hundredth place. So what will we do? We will put zero at hundredth place, and then we will move to the seven that is at thousandth place. So ten hundred thousand. So it means the number for this decimal expansion is. Two hundred thirty-one point six zero seven. Now it's time to get homework. So today's homework is do question seven of exercise four a that you can see on page number eighty-three in book and do all the parts of question six of the same exercise in fair notebook. Please like and subscribe my channel for getting the notification for the latest update as soon as possible. And viewers, please mention your name, class, and section in comment box. Thank you.